Hey everyone, Hunter from Round Circles here. Today I'm going to show you how to strip fry from African cichlid females. This is by far the easiest method I've found of stripping fry. And I've stripped hundreds of thousands of fry using this technique from Lake Malawi, Victoria, and Tanganyika species. Before I get started, this in no way hurts the females. It actually helps them because the sooner you take the fry, the sooner they can go back to eating, get healthy again, and start breeding again. And this will work for basically any size African cichlid uh, mouth breeding species. I use it for little Victorians and Mabuna that are only an inch long to big predator haps that are 8 to 10 inches long, no problem. Oh, she's already spitting. The next one I'll do slow. She just spit in my hand though. This one's got wiggler, so you do it in a separate one. So you just want to gently squeeze the side of her mouth and it come right out. So you don't even have to move your thumb, you just move your index finger and they'll come right out. And you can even tilt her down and they'll just fall out. This one's got a bunch. Alright, this one they're going to come flying out. So just watch closely, just gently squeeze and they come right out. And I'm not doing this hard at all. I'm just barely opening her mouth by squeezing her gill plates together. And you gotta be careful, sometimes they actually wanna go back in. So I lift up and move to a different spot. And when they stop coming out, you're about done. And you can look in there if you want, but most likely, you got them all. Eggs. For most African cichlids, you want to wait about 14 days to strip. By then, they'll be pretty much fully developed. Okay, this one's ready. Again, just slowly squeeze. And you want to make sure you do it enough where her mouth is open so she doesn't bite down and squeeze any fry. Smaller females, that's more likely to happen compared to bigger females. But... She's all out there. That's it. And if you do it properly, you can do it in about 10 seconds, which I'll show you right here. Ready? That's it. The quicker you do it, better it is for her, it's less stressful. And again, no way harms them at all. Do another slow one for you. Just crack it open. There you go. Just moving my right hand index finger, pushing down. This time I'll do it reversed, so you can see how I'm moving my index finger. Just barely squeezing. And I'll come out. So, no, no reason to feel scared to do this. It's better to strip them at two weeks than let them hold for three or four weeks, because at that point, their body is actually absorbing their own um, extra calories um, to just stay healthy and alive. Different size fry. Yeah, so the sooner you can you can strip them, the sooner they go back to eating. And if you if you wait four weeks for them to spin on their own or to strip the fry. They're going to be really um, skinny by then, and it's going to take them a while to actually gain back enough um, 
calories and enough fat to breed again. Because it does take a pretty big toll on their body holding for that long. So I, we do not suggest letting them hold for, for really more than three weeks if you have any control over it. It's even easier if they're wigglers, I call them, not fully developed, they'll just fall right out. And you see it slows down, and then that's it. And I don't recommend stripping them when they just have eggs, so if you see they spawn, you can write down on the tank the day. Don't do it like two days after. They're going to be fertile, but you're going to have to tumble them, and kind of defeats the purpose of trying to let nature take its um, course and, and let let her raise them on her own in her mouth and and uh, tumble them on her own. That way uh, she can get the experience too. Because if you keep stripping them, like let's say a day or two after she spawns, she's not gonna know what to do that time that you don't strip her in that time frame. Because if you let her hold a week after stripping her at two days a, a ton, then she's not gonna know what to do and she's just gonna spit. So just let her hold. So she can learn. That's basically their whole purpose if you're trying to breed. Mom's got eggs. So I'm gonna give her two weeks, then strip her. But that's it. And you see I've got hundreds of fry now. And it's only minute this video is only at like seven minutes, so you can see I think I did about ten females. But it's very easy. Don't be scared to do it. And now these will go and hang on, and then they'll uh, start growing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.